This tutorial is for fourth grade, module six, lesson five. In this lesson, we're going to continue to look at the connection between tenths and hundredths, both as fractions and decimals. In this first question, I'm going to show three tenths on my fraction model. And then I'm going to show how I can decompose the three tenths into hundredths by multiplying both my numerator and my denominator by 10. 3 times 10 is 30, and 10 times 10 is 100. So now let's shade in 30 hundredths on the second model. You can see that both models have the exact same amount shaded in. That means in decimal form, I can say that 3 tenths is equal to 30 hundredths. Let's do the same in part B. This time I'm going to start by shading in 50 hundredths. There's my 50 hundredths. Now, since it takes 10 hundredths to make 1 tenth, I'm going to divide my numerator and my denominator by 10. 50 divided by 10 equals 5. 100 divided by 10 equals 10. So now we'll shade in 5 tenths on the second model. And you can see that once again, both models have the same amount shaded in. This means I can say that 50 hundredths is the same thing as 5 tenths. In this question, I have a fraction model that shows 37 hundredths shaded in. The directions say to circle the tenths. So the tenths would be any complete column that has been shaded in. So let's go over here and I see that I have three complete columns. That means I have three tenths and in my partially filled column I have seven hundredths. In fraction form we would call that 37 hundredths. And in decimal form, we would write zero in the ones place, three in the tenths place, and seven in the hundredths place. We can look at the three as three tenths, and then we have seven hundredths, or we could look at it all together as 37 hundredths. In the next section, I have place value disks that are hundredths, and I'm going to use as many of those as I can to make tenths. It takes 10 hundredths to make 1 tenth. So I'm going to circle 10 of these, which would then be equal to 1 tenth. Altogether in my picture, I have 12 hundredths. And again, I was able to make 1 tenth, and then I also have two more hundredths. So the decimal 12 hundredths can be seen as 1 tenth and 2 hundredths. And in my last section, I'm going to show the fraction, decimal, and unit form of the same number. In part A, I have three hundredths written as a fraction. As a decimal, that means I have zero tenths, and then three in my hundredths place, and that is showing me three hundredths. Down below, I have 72 hundredths, or seven tenths and two hundredths, written in decimal form. To write that in fraction form, I would write 72 over 100, and that is showing me a total of 72 hundredths.